Good morning, a great trees. I hope you are. If you're at home, you are snug as a bug and a rug. It is drama time. Okay, the tongue twister for today is she sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. And again, she sells seashells on the seashore. Okay. Brilliant. We are going to do a nice warm-up. So, today you are going to imagine that you are uncooked spaghetti. Okay, so you are uncooked spaghetti. So, you are nice and thin like a little piece of spaghetti. And you are going to, we are going to pop you in the pot. And it's nice warm water. And now, you start to feel your toes starting to get softer because when you put pasta in a pasta pot you nice and thin and then it starts to melt almost at the bottom okay and your legs get soft and your calves get soft and all the way up your little spaghetti leggies and you now fold into a tiny little ball and then sp the spaghetti gets nice and soft and stretches out okay excellent all right so um let's do it again you're nice and thin spaghetti and you pop in the pot and your feet get nice and soft and your calves and your knees and start to fall down and you're getting all squishy and into a tight, 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 tight little ball and squish out. Okay, and stretch out, shake your hands. We're gonna do this warm up where you go with your hands. We're gonna do five times on this hand, five times on this hand, five times on this leg, five times on that leg. Okay, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and other hand. One, two, three, four, five, and this leg. One, two, three, four, five, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, and this hand now four. One, two, three, four, and we get faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Okay, excellent. Hope you're nice and warm. All right, so always remember in drama, we have to make our um, voices warm. So that's why we do things like tongue twisters and then we make our bodies nice and warm. All right, so if it's a cold day, you can just repeat those exercises and if it's not, then you should be absolutely fine. Okay, I'm going to read you a little story and then you are going to act it out. So this is called The Toy Shop. Okay, so as I'm reading the story, you're going to be acting it out. Imagine that you are a toy in a toy shop. So you could be a Buzz Lightyear, you could be Bugs Bunny, you could be Mickey Mouse, you could be Barbie doll, you could be, what else could we be? You could be um, a minion, you could be anything you want to be. So just think what you're going to be. So let's pretend that it is night time in the toy shop. And at night time, all the toys come alive. So if you came to life as a toy, how would you move? Would you move, would you move freely? Or if you were Buzz Light, you would go from infinity and beyond. Okay. And how would you talk? So that's how Buzz Light you would talk. Okay, so I want you to find a space in your room and I want you to move around like a toy. So if you were a minion, you would move around like a little minion. If you were Buzz Lightyear, you would be more robotic. Okay, all right. So now you freeze as your toy. Okay, and it's daytime now and all the toys are silent. No one is moving. And um, I am going to pretend that I'm the shop owner and I spend all the day talking to customers and fixing toys. So you've got to be very, very silent and don't move. But when I leave and go to bed, all the toys come alive and come out to play. So, but sometimes I'll come back because I hear a noise. And when that happens, you must freeze in your position again and stay very, very, very quiet. 
All right, so I'm going to pretend that I'm leaving. Good night, all toys. And I'm going to close the door and I'm going to walk out. And you are going to walk around the space as that toy. And maybe if you're a horse and you're jumping over things, then jump over things and go around. Okay, and suddenly you hear a noise. And the shop owner's going, huh, I can hear a noise in there. I wonder what it is. And open the door. And what do you do? Oh, you freeze. And then I look around as the shop owner and I go, no, I don't see anything moving. I wonder what it was. Maybe it was a cat that came through the window, but the window's closed. Okay, so I'm going to close the door again and I'm going to walk out. And I hear a noise again and you hear the door open and quickly freeze. Ah, that is so strange. I can't see anything there. Mmm. And when I leave, then you can move around the room completely freely. All right. So remember, when we freeze, you can blink and you can breathe, but you shouldn't move your eyes or head. You shouldn't move anything. I mean, by your eyes, obviously you're blinking, but you shouldn't do this with your eyes. Okay, because that gives it away. All right. So... I am going to read you a story. And well, I'm going to read you a poem. And this is by Ken Nesbitt. And this is called Homework by, um, it's called Homework, All My Great Excuses by Ken Nesbitt. I started on my homework, but my pen ran out of ink. My hamster ate my homework. My computer's on the blink. I tripped and dropped my homework in the soup my mom was cooking. My brother flushed it down the loo at the moment I wasn't looking. My mother ran my homework through the washer and the dryer. An aeroplane crashed into our house. My homework caught on fire. Some burglars were at the home. I had a shark attack. A pirate swiped my homework and refused to give it back. Oh, I worked on these excuses so long that my teacher said, I think that it will be easier to do the work instead. <laughs> All right, so that's homework, All My Great Excuses by Ken Nisbet. So what you are going to do, you are going to do a play for me today on um, great excuses, okay, that you haven't done your homework. So you can use some of these excuses, but I want you to make up some new excuses. All right. You can even write your own poem for me, and then you're going to perform it and send it to me. All right. Well done, grade threes. So let's say our poem for the end of the day. So you are going to do all of that for me today, and then you are going to send it to me. All right. So let's do our poem for the end of the class. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, gator snake. In a shake, gator snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give me a hug, ladybug. Give me a hug, ladybug. To loo, kangaroo. To loo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippos. Adios, hippos. Hasta mañana, iguana. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give me a kiss, goldfish. Give me a kiss, goldfish. Get in line, porcupine. Get in line, porcupine. Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. On the bus, octopus. On the bus, octopus. To your house, quiet mouse. Shh. And you know what, grade threes? I've got another poem for you. This is about homework, a oh homework. And this is by a poet called Jack Prolatsky. And I forgot that we were going to do this poem. And after our poem, See you later, alligator, 
I realize that I've got an extra poem for you. All right, so this is called Homework, Oh Homework by Jack Prelatsky. Homework, oh homework, I hate you. You stink. I wish I could wash you away in the sink. If only a bomb would explode you to bits. Homework, oh homework, you are giving me fits. I'd rather take baths with a man-eating shark or wrestle a lion alone in the dark. Eat spinach and liver. Tear, pet ten porcupines. Then tackle the homework my teacher assigns. Homework, oh homework, you're last on my list. I simply can't see why you ever exist. If you just disappear, it would tickle me pink. Homework, oh homework, I hate you, you stink. All right, so that's a poem by a poet called Jack Prelatsky. And he is definitely one of my favorite poets. But there are lots and lots and lots and lots of poems that I really, really, really like. Okay, so grade threes, don't forget, you are going to make an excuses poem for me. And you are going to send it through to me so that I can send you back some feedback. All right, grade threes, take care, little bunnies. Bye.